ain't gonna take any coffee today. Good morning friends, how are you today? We're going in with coffee number two. My house, well specifically my, well no my whole house, I was going to say specifically my kitchen is a disaster, but my whole house is a disaster. There's a pile of laundry in the living room. I've got a ton of laundry to do in my bedroom. I haven't even made my bed this morning. My bathroom really needs to be cleaned. Like dusted really bad and my bath mats need to be washed. So this really was just going to be like a cooking weekend, but now I think it needs to be turned into a cleaning weekend. And I thought I was going to try out like a couple of new recipes this weekend. And for some reason, I went with something totally different. <laughs> so this weekend, my dinners are just going to be pot roast and chicken chili. That's pretty much going to be my dinners this weekend. And then I just bought a ton of salad stuff. So we'll just have salads for lunches. And I can pack those for uh, my husband and daughter for their lunches. But it's, you know, full eating this weekend, so we're not fasting at all, um, even though right now it's almost 8 o'clock and I, yeah, I think I've not eaten in 13 hours, so I mean, I'm not really, uh, I'm not fasting, so I'll probably be making my breakfast here soon. I'll just have to go shove a bunch of junk off the stove so I can crack a couple of eggs in a pan, but, uh. Forever my life is a disaster. I'm constantly like chasing my tail trying to clean up and cook and then clean up and then cook and then I'm yeah. I got almost nothing done yesterday because so I haven't even washed my dishes since uh today's Saturday. I haven't washed my dishes since Thursday morning. <laughs> I had intended to wash dishes yesterday, but I was running behind on editing the video that went live today. Um, I just was not, I was just not into editing this last week. I was avoiding it at all costs. So finally, Thursday I started editing, but the clips I had were so long, they took me forever. So it really took me into yesterday, Friday, to finish it. <sighs> and then... You know, I thought I was going to be able to finish it early Friday afternoon so that I'd get some kitchen stuff done yesterday and at least start this morning. I wanted to start this morning with the kitchen clean for you guys, but, you know, family, they need me. So, <laughs> I mean, I was happy to go and help my mother-in-law out. She was so irritated with her. She fell down and she didn't tell us <laughs> for like over 24 hours. So she called me yesterday and was like, can you get me an ace bandage for my ankle? She sprained her ankle. Uh, so I went over there and did that. And then we went out to lunch and then we went shopping. And so I just spent the whole afternoon with her, which was fun. Because I think I just needed to get out too and and just get out of my head. And uh, tried to not have her on her feet too much. So hopefully she's okay. But the nice thing was I did get my grocery shopping done and I was going to save that for today for you guys, but sorry, I didn't. So now I'm just going to have to kind of show you what I bought while I'm preparing food, right? So because I really just bought food to prepare this weekend because I knew I needed to get salad in. When I'm eating three meals a day, I know at least one of the meals really should be a salad. Uh, otherwise, I kind of overdo it. <laughs> 
<sighs> but yeah, no fasting, delicious eating, and I gotta get some cleaning done. But I'm gonna go have my second cup of coffee, watch a little bit of YouTube, and then we'll get started in the kitchen before anything else. So I want to at least get the kitchen cleaned up and then I can go shower and get ready for the day because I don't want to, I don't want to. <laughs> and so I wasn't sure if I was going to cook my meals in the crock pot or on this or in the oven or stove or whatever. So I think I'm going to do the cr uh, crock pot one today because it's still supposed to be warm and sunny. Forecast shows rain for tomorrow. So fingers crossed it will cool down a little bit and I can do like an oven dinner. Uh, anyways, getting ahead of myself. Let's just start with number one. Finish the coffee, start having some breakfast, wash some dishes. I should probably eat my breakfast while I'm having my coffee. That way I'm just sitting around being lazy doing this <laughs> all at one time. I don't know why I just felt like I needed more cream. I'm just gonna go ahead and start warming up my breakfast on the stove, but I have um, I, I don't know, it's kind of looks weird that it's like this, but I cooked some potatoes the other day and they're in here, <laughs> and then I cooked some sausage patties and I put them in here. So I'm just gonna have little potatoes, a sausage patty, and what do you call that thing? A couple of eggs, and I got my sourdough out of the freezer, so I have a little bit of sourdough toast. We'll call it breakfast. Breakfast is cooking. Oh, so careful. All right, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm actually like, once I start cooking and smelling the food, I'm like, oh yeah, I guess I am hungry, aren't I? Mm. Yukon gold potatoes and a yummy sausage patty. Yum. Mm. A little sourdough toast. Mm. No restaurant in this town would make a breakfast this good. Cheers. Well, good morning. It's breakfast time. I'm going to enjoy this and finish watching my YouTube video. Here is the mess. So we got lots of junk everywhere. So much junk everywhere. Clean dishes, dirty dishes, more dirty dishes, appliances sitting out. Well, I think I'm gonna start with maybe just getting the clean dishes put away first, and then maybe just the other things put away that aren't dirty dishes and just try to like take the trash out and so I'm gonna try to speed through some of this because I want to listen to my show while I'm cleaning and yeah <laughs> so let's see what time is it it's 8 45 let's see if we can try to get most of it done in less than an hour <laughs> uh, I need to wrap my head around not hating this job so much <laughs> All right, let's get started. I'm going to set you on the air fryer. See how that works for a little bit. That looks all right, huh? Okay.
All right, friends, I have a few things soaking here, but uh, got most of the dishes done. Still need to wipe everything down, but it is like way, way better. <laughs> it's way better. Had to turn the fan on because it is already super warm like today, like. So I worked on that for an hour, gave it a solid hour of effort, and now I'm ready for a little break. I need some water for sure. And uh, maybe I'll get some laundry ready to go, but uh, I don't know if I want to start cutting up all the veggies before I take a shower because I always like... Once I take a shower, I get like super relaxed and then super lazy and then I don't want to do anything. So I kind of want to just save the shower for later in the afternoon when I have less to do. And I really need to, let's see, it's almost 10 o'clock now. So I need to get the uh, crock pot going. I mean, it'd be nice if I can get it going by noon, but if I can get it going no later than two o'clock dinner, I'll be ready by six. So, and I guess we're gonna go with the chicken chili because that one I don't mind putting in the crock pot for the day. Uh, I really don't want to do the pot roast in the crock pot because I have it's kind of a big roast. It's like a four pound roast, and I have a lot of veggies to put in it. Um, I got like rutabaga, turnip, carrots, plus I got like little mini uh, potatoes. I have the little the little pack of potatoes. So it's got the purple and red and Yukon potatoes in it. So I kind of want to put these in the pot roast also, but first I'm going to fit, I got one rutabaga just because I've, I don't think I've ever eaten a rutabaga before. <laughs> so I was just like, what root vegetables do you put in a pot roast? And it was sitting right there. So I grabbed a rutabaga. I got two turnips and, um, you know, I got a bag full of carrots. So I'd love to use a good amount of carrots because I don't know, there's something about carrots in a pot roast are just delicious. So tomorrow I want to do the pot roast in the oven in my big red Dutch oven that fits a lot of food in it uh, so we'll do that in the oven tomorrow hopefully it's cooler right and uh, so today crock pot dinner chicken chili so I've got onions uh, poblano uh, Anaheim chili I've got canned green chilies I've got a couple of cans of white beans I'll have to go down and get some chicken broth uh, from downstairs. What else do I need for it? What else goes on? I mean, I have onion. I don't know if I said that. What else goes in a chicken chili? Oh, I can put corn in it. I got that frozen corn. So, and then we got tortilla chips too to go with the chili. Or we can use the sourdough bread. Either way. Or nothing. Like, right? I've got sour cream. I've got... Uh, avocado cups. I tried to buy avocado at the food cache yesterday and they didn't have any avocado. So I should go check. Maybe, to, maybe tomorrow morning I'll go check. I really need to get a bag of avocados here in the next few days uh, because by next weekend I'll need them to be ripe so I can start having some avocado for my uh, fast, for my intermittent fasting, right? So for my fasting cycle. And usually if they're super green, it takes about three to five days for them to get ripe. So I want to make sure I get them plenty early enough. Oh, I got this giant watermelon here too. I need to cut that up today. Um, maybe tomorrow. We'll see how far we get. Uh, I don't want to spend a ton more time on dishes today. So I'll probably want to get all the veggies prepped. Then by the time I'm done doing that, the dishwasher should be done and the, I can wash the rest of the dishes, wash the dishes I use to cut the veggies and oh yeah, try to get it all streamlined a little bit so that by the end of tonight, everything can just go in the dishwasher and I can wake up tomorrow and the kitchen will be decent again and ready to go, right? Because plan is to get things done so that tomorrow will still be a cleaning day 
But if I prep all the veggies and stuff today for tomorrow's dinner, then all I literally have to do is just brown the meat and throw everything in the in the oven and it'll be yeah, ready to go. So like it could be easy peasy food tomorrow too. <sighs> uh, food is overwhelming for me sometimes. That's fine. We're learning to deal with it. I decided I was gonna make some iced tea while I'm going to start getting my lunch ready. So, but I'm doing decaf because I've been wanting to have iced tea like, cause it's been so hot, but when I make caffeinated, it's been like, I've been drinking it later in the afternoon and I'm like, oh, is it gonna keep me awake? So I'm afraid it's gonna keep me awake at night. So I'm doing decaf today. And I'm gonna cook some chicken tenders to go in my salad. That does not want to come apart. Yeah. Well, I kind of feel like I should try to cook all of them, but. There's five left, four left. Well, we'll just do that many for now and leave the four. Super simple. I'm just gonna, oh, I guess I should turn the oven on. Just gonna bake them for like 25 minutes. Put a little salt, pepper, garlic. wash a few more dishes because I need the sink cleared out so that I can wash my lettuce and stuff in the sink when I'm making my salad. But other than that, I really need to start chopping the veggies up. I don't really know what containers I'm going to put stuff in because, yeah, I don't know. I just need to start chopping and washing and all the things though, so. So I just need to dry and put a few of these dishes away so I have room to wash a few more. The dishwasher is almost done. It's in the drying mode right now. So far this time, um, I'm not having that crazy, crazy fatigue that I was having last time uh, at this part of my cycle, but uh, my brain fog is still a little, it's not too bad so far, knock on wood, right? Because <laughs> uh, it could get worse, but so far it's okay. But I just want to try to use up my energy early in the day just in case they start to fade later on. So that's where we're at with that here. This goes in the other room. Oh, this goes in the other room. Sorry. This goes in the other room too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm going to put that stuff away. And I'm going to start pulling out the veggies to chop. All right, some of my chicken is still fin finishing it. I literally can't talk. Some of my fish. Okay, the chicken, it's about done. Gonna start on the veggies. And I bought all this stuff yesterday. I got cucumber, red bell pepper, parsley, green onion. I got an Anaheim, a poblano, red cabbage, onion. I got uh, turnips, rutabaga. I got carrots, 
yeah so I got a bunch of like just little vegetables and stuff so I'm gonna prep my salad veg first then we'll start on the chili veg so yeah just gonna loosely shred the skin shred some of the skin off the cucumber I was hoping this cucumber and this red bell pepper would get me through the weekend I don't eat red bell pepper but my daughter and my husband like it I honestly just really don't care for pepper by itself like it needs to be like cooked in something to me it's not always easy to do so but I did try to buy um, most of this stuff organic when I could so um, like the parsley and the bell pepper I was able to the onions you know honestly I didn't even look to see organic onions so um, I just kind of grabbed whatever was in my face they don't have organic uh, the organic English cucumber so uh, yeah so I mean some of the stuff I tried to get organic like I got the spring mix and the romaine lettuce organic so that'll have to do Smells really good. That's the chicken. I think I need a little container for this. about how to I mean I don't know with the parsley I was thinking about just cutting it all up because I was gonna just put it all in uh, the salads and stuff and probably put some in the chili as well Ooh, it's gonna be tight that was a big bell pepper Cucumbers done. I bought shredded carrots for the salad, so I don't need to worry about that. And and then I bought whole carrots for the, you know, for the stuff, for the stuff and things. Oh, I got more peppers here. So I should cut these. These are gonna go for the chili, right? So I just got one poblano and one Anaheim, and then I have a little jar of jalapenos and I'm going to use a can of tomatoes. We're going to put beans and broth, corn, chicken. So hopefully that's enough. I don't know. All right. Yes, peas and lemons, peasy. You know what? Damn it. I knew there was something else I was going to get for the chili and I couldn't think of what it was to save my life and that was green cabbage I'm not going back to the store though and I really could use the purple cabbage but if I use the purple cabbage that'll turn it really browny purpley I guess which wouldn't be so bad but <sighs> Well, that's a bummer, because, yeah, I was going to... Dang it, I love to put cabbage in my chili. Especially my chicken chili. There's the husband. Hello. Filming, chopping veggies. All right, sorry for that interruption, but I did end up getting all my salad stuff ready to go. 
Um, so I did some, opened a can of beets. And I opened a can of beans. And now I'm going to do my best to make like a ranch style dressing or just a creamy dressing. So, um, so I do have Hidden Valley Ranch, but it's in my pantry and, you know, it's not the best to use. So since I'm trying to make this a pretty decent lunch, might as well go all the way. And I did buy the stuff for it anyways, so. Oh, maybe if I could get this off but a little thing of avocado mayo because I don't know I just didn't get a big one I guess I don't know so yeah I only have in my fridge is regular mayonnaise so I don't want to use that for my dressing today Just, I'm just trying to make a little bit of dressing just to see how I like it. I don't know that this tastes that different from olive oil mayonnaise. A little spoonful of yogurt. I'm going to season this. A little bit of salt. Good amount of pepper. Garlic powder. onion powder. I'm going to do a tiny bit of thyme. Just a pinch of dill. And then I'm already going to put fresh parsley in my salad, so I'm not going to put parsley in this little mixture. And then I have this. I don't have regular milk. I just have almond milk. So just to thin it out a little bit, I'm going to put a little bit of almond milk. Oh, you know what? Before we do the almond milk, too. Splash of lemon juice. Eh, eh, eh. I can't get the lid back on. All right. I'm kind of mush that together. Now it probably tastes better too if I like kind of let the flavors come together, but I'm not gonna. It's pretty like just thick, thick, so I'm gonna just add a tiny bit of milk just to thin it out. Just like a splash. pretty good. Yeah, I think if the flavors had time to come together more, that would be delicious. Okay, let's build the salad. No, I'm going to probably forget something. So, like, I want to put pumpkin seeds on it, so I'm going to bring that close so I see it in my face. <sighs> I was going to do some romaine lettuce as well, but I'm too lazy right now. <laughs> to worry about that. So, mm, I'm just going to grab a handful of this spring and I think I'm going to tear it up a little bit more. Alright, salad in. And then I like to put the dressing on my lettuce. So, cabbage. Let's start with the cabbage. A little bit of cucumber, my shredded carrots that I got, green onion, and then let's go in with a little more dressing. Last but not least, pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. 
some fiber. Get a good amount of beans on there. And some beets. Love these things. And then I have three chicken tenders that I cooked up. Whew. I wish I had an avocado. <sighs> but that is the salad. That's the lunch salad. There you go. That's what I'm having for lunch. I do have to get some of this stuff back in the fridge, which my fridge is really disorganized. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I like that they stack up well. Salad prep is done. That's all the salad stuff right here. Boop, boop. Salad. <laughs> ah, all right. I'm going to go sit down and eat this. I'm starting to get a cramp in my back and it's almost one o'clock so yeah I'm ready to Ooh, I was trying to cool off my iced tea I do have some ice I could put in it mm. but I just got to it before the glass started to freeze <laughs> I gotta get the rest of this in the fridge and I'm gonna eat and we'll come back in a little bit when I Start the chili because I, like I said, I want to, yeah, get that going. It is, hello friends, it is much later in the afternoon. Got my shower in, getting ready to start the chili. I had an incident with the crock pot. The pot is cracked, so... We are going to use the Instant Pot. Not something I'm super familiar with using really well. So hopefully I don't mess it up. <laughs> so far I really like to make beans in it. That's what I like so far. Okay, let's see. I have not ever done this before, so let's saute. You just hit that and it just goes. Does it just go on? Oh, there it goes. I don't know how long does it take for that to get hot. It's supposed to be instant, right? Oh yeah, I can feel it like getting warm. All right, oil it is. first. Oh, oh that scared me. <laughs> and then the peppers. Give those a little salty. Okay, now let's get back to cutting the chicken. All right, we are just going to cut this up a little bit. Uh, most of the ones that I watched, like, they just put the chicken pieces in a hole and uh, then pulled it out and shredded it. But I'm just going to chop these up now. I'm going to try to take off some of the fat, though. I don't really know how long I'm supposed to cook this, other than one recipe said 20 minutes, the other one said 15. So I think I'm going to go with the 20. Um, I almost want to go 25, but we'll go 20. I feel like it's, you know... Uh, chicken thighs you can't really overcook them really okay I got all the chicken cut up we're gonna go ahead and start putting in all the rest of the ingredients uh, put some corn in there I think I'll be able to fit all of it in there I like a lot of beans I think I'll be able to fit it all in here <laughs> Guess we need the chicken. It's gonna be tight. Salt, black pepper, chili powder. That's not gonna cut it. <laughs> Onion powder, garlic powder. I was going to add tomatoes, but I think I'm going to leave that. Give us a little bit of a stir. 
excited. I'm going to add some oregano. And a bay leaf. Got a big jug of homemade chicken stock here. Ooh. Oh no, I opened the wrong one. This is the one that tastes like Thanksgiving. That's okay. It's okay. It's just very flavorful is all. At least two cups worth. Hmm. And it's salted, so we don't need to add more salt, I don't think. All right, wish me luck. Your cook for only well, need to go 20 minutes, right? All right, 20 minutes, and hopefully it'll be done. I'm gonna. It says natural release 10 minutes after that, so you know it'll cook about 30 minutes. All right, we'll come back uh, when it's done. I'm gonna wash that cutting board and the knife. <laughs> yeah, the chili is done. Mm. It's got a lot of good flavor. Just basically tastes like a taco soup. Because it's not thick. Let's see. I got some cheese, onions, sour cream, hot sauce, chips, and avocado cups. We can top that up with all this, and that's dinner. And I don't know if there's gonna be any left, but hopefully there will be some for lunches. Hi, babe. Hi, what's me? I made chili. chili. Chicken chili. It's, it's, like a, a soup. it's more like soup, yeah, because it didn't really get thick because mm -hmm. I made it in the instant pot. So. Mm -hmm. Looks good. But yeah, but it's still tasty. It's a little spicy. I just got a little heat to it. That's not like crazy spicy. We're gonna start with some cheese. Cause that will melt right in there, right? Melt to the cheese. Oh, it's still a little frozen. It's okay, the heat will warm it up. Get in there. Eh. <laughs> I'll get off my spoon. Sour cream. Green onions. I think I need a new bottle. Oh. Probably have some more chips than that, but I'll just do that. All right, and now it's really ready to be eaten. So, dinner time. Good morning, friends. How are you? It's the next day. <laughs> I'm on coffee number two. almost eight o'clock it's about quarter till I got up about two hours ago I got up a little before six anyways Whew. dinner was successful last night and check this I even got the dishes done so I'm so proud of me <laughs> it is a cloudy morning this morning so it's a little cooler actually closed a couple of the windows this morning, but I think I'm going to open them back up because it's still not like that cool in the house. So I think I might open the windows back up. It was, it felt quite cool when I was sitting right next to the window this morning at, you know, quarter to six. So, or at six o'clock. 
<sighs> got up early this morning because I meant to do it yesterday morning take my daughter's measurements and have her get on the scale and just kind of do like a monthly update dang it I forgot to do pictures but we could do pictures tonight when she gets home I can just do them then it's fine I mean I don't think the pictures are gonna look massively different I was going to do, but she was like in the middle of, she had already started eating breakfast and I got up late. I thought I was going to get up a little earlier, but yeah, so we did her progress and so she's doing great. She lost, um, 5.2 pounds or something in the last month and, uh, she's lost, she shrunk like six inches from all over her body, more than six inches from all over her body. So super proud of her I'm sure she feels great like I said she's been like cinching in her belt buckle like every week <sighs> yeah so she's uh, she's doing amazing now if she can start a cycle close to on time this round that right there that's like that's what we're going for we're basically just going for getting her hormones back <laughs> in a normal cycle so we're not super focusing on the weight loss yet. The weight loss will just be a byproduct of her hormones starting to cycle back and her starting to eat normal food that's not ultra processed. So she's done fabulous. I'm so proud of her. So of course my husband asked if I got on the scale today because I did it a month ago too. But I was like, eh, no. Uh, so we'll see. So, uh, I might do it like at the end of summer, get on the scale. I don't remember even when the last time I did measurements are, but being the fact that in the last three years, my weight's basically fluctuated between 265 and 275. I'm not going to be like, until I get like below 260, I'm not even going to worry about trying to measure or anything really like until I actually start seeing like real progress. Um, so since I've been fluctuating, not going to worry about progress as far as weight and measurements right now. I can usually tell right away if I have lost some weight because the clothes fit better. <sighs> so, but this weekend we are still not fasting. It's almost eight o'clock. So I should probably get breakfast warmed up and I'm just going to have exactly the same breakfast. I just want to sit on the couch a little longer, finish watching my YouTube video. I've been uh, recommended to a few new YouTubers that I are really like kind of tickling my fancy right now. So I'm kind of watching them a little bit this morning and then uh, I watch uh, the Kardashians. So have not watched the newest episode from this last week so I kind of want to watch that because it's Sunday and Sundays when I like to catch up on stuff like that so uh, have a load ready to go in the washer but there was some stains on some of my shirts so I'm letting those kind of you know soak up a little bit before I start it today's just like laundry we're gonna do I never got around to this is a rutabaga never got around to cutting up my root vegetables so we gotta get that um, going today. So we're having pot roast and a giant watermelon that I should probably cut up today too. Uh, been kind of wanting to make some blueberry muffins, but that's like seriously back burner because I'm like I get really lazy about stuff. So um, I probably have to cook some more meat for the salad. So everybody took salads for lunch today. I have stuff for salad for lunch today, but I need to cook more meat for salad lunches tomorrow. So <laughs> I guess I didn't, you know, really think that through yesterday when I was cooking meat that I would need to cook more meat <laughs> for future salads, but that's fine. Um, I'll just cook more meat later on when I'm doing dinner and stuff. So but the salad it is for lunch today again too. But yeah, I'm going to go sit down first for a little bit and finish watching this video at least before I start heating up my breakfast. Just wanted to come in and say good morning and let you know, yeah, everything was great last night. They watched their Rambo movie. I went in my bedroom, watched my TV show and yeah, we just hung out last night after dinner. So dinner was amazing. 
I think when I make a chili on the stove top, it comes out a little better because it has time to simmer and like thicken up and stuff. But doing it in the instant pot was a great way to like not heat up the house. So I really loved that, that I didn't heat up the house last night when it was really warm. It is raining. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think this is the first rain of summer. I don't know why I'm getting excited about it because last summer it never stopped raining. <laughs> We've had probably three times more sunshine this season than we had last summer. <laughs> All summer. So, super nice. It's nice to have a little rain once in a while. I just would like a little rain once in a while. More sunshine more often. <laughs> That's okay. It's 4th of July coming up and that's why we're getting the rain because it seems like it always rains on 4th of July. Anyways, I'm gonna go drink my coffee and get back to my show. Cheers. All right, I am ready to heat up breakfast now. I'll do a couple little sausage patties. Well, let's get these warmed up first and get our strawberries ready. All right, I really need to do some laundry. <laughs> Uh, how, how, I have to go out this afternoon and I really don't have any clean clothes to wear. I mean, I'm sure I can scrounge up something, but yeah. Let's wash a few of these off. Okay, I'm just going to take the tops off of these real quick. I don't know, I don't want to eat around the little stem there, so I just take it right out. Mmm, mmm. Oh, mmm. That is like candy. That is so sweet. Wow. That is amazing. Mmm. Sometimes I forget how much I love strawberries. There we go. Ooh. All right, I have bread. We're gonna do toast. Oh, a tiny bit of butter. Ooh, it's hot. Plate is ready, and oh my gosh, those strawberries are delicious. So, I better watch myself. That whole carton might be gone by the end of the day. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast, put my show back on while I'm eating, and uh, oh, I already started my laundry too, so, or well, I think I already said that because I don't have any clean clothes, so I have to go out this afternoon, so don't let me forget, I need to go buy the food cache and see if they have avocado, because I really need to get avocado for basically like the end of the week. Um, I mean, I can eat avocado during the week, but I really want it for like next Friday, Saturday, Sunday. All right, it is a little while later. Oh, hair and lump, you know what? I forgot something. Uh, forgot to plug my light in. So very strange. Oh, I got, I got to fix that light a little bit, but uh, it's a very dark, cloudy day today, which is very different from yesterday. It was bright and sunny, and so I got to have all the lights on that I could possibly get just to get some decent lighting. <laughs> and we got to get these clean dishes put away. So that way we can, uh, you know, have this free for later on to put dishes into. to rearrange because this does not make sense to me.
All right, these are ready to go in, and uh, I think I'm going to start at 10 minutes. They're supposed to go up to 15, so let's just stick them in and see how far they go. All right, it's super late. It's like almost 3 o'clock, so I really got to get that pot roast in the oven. So I'm going to brown it up real quick, get it going in the oven, and then I'll chop the veggies, which I haven't done yet, so we can throw the veggies on top. <laughs> Ah, oh, counter's still a mess. From lunch earlier. Everything just ran later than I thought it would, so, you know, that's just what happens. And So, fortunately, it's not like I have a lot of veggies to cut, so maybe I can't even cut it while the meat's browning. So let me get the meat out, go get it in the pan, and get that started right. Get some avocado oil heating up in there. I got a nice big four pound chuck roast we're just going to use spg salt pepper garlic generously right season our meat generously oh yeah here we go we'll just get that right there nice while that pan is heating up it's not even hot yet, and I just stuck it in there, but who cares? Because we got to get this going. Let's go cut the veggies, and hopefully by the time it's done browning, we'll be all done cutting them up. We can throw them in there. I'm going to guess no, I'm not supposed to peel a turnip, but I'm going to cut the little butt off here. Because I really don't know. Because it does seem a little... Maybe cut the top off. Yeah, because I really don't know. <laughs> I did scrub them. Cubed up. Turn up. Let's do the other turn up. Kind of just doing big chunks here. Because these are going to go right in the whole time. The whole three hours, whatever, however long this is going to cook. Probably three hours. That's okay now. The rutabaga. I've never done a rutabaga before, so I'm going to cut that end off, the ends off, because the ends look kind of iffy. I don't know if I'm supposed to cut the skin off. I did, like, scrub it, so let me see. Can I peel it? Okay. Yeah, I could peel it. Well, it's more, it's a little bit more potato-like, so that's good. Literally have never eaten a rutabaga as far as I know of. So, this is my first time. But, you know, when I try new stuff every now and then. Definitely smells very earthy. All right. Onion real quick. Alright, let's plop these onions in there first, huh? Okay, let's get some carrots in there. Oh, these carrots are really wet. I always feel like whenever I make a pot roast, there's not enough carrots. So I got, oh, I oh don't know, I got a lot of carrots here. Let's go with these in there. Let's see. All right, here's what we got so far. I did put a couple of tablespoons of, what do you call that stuff, brown gravy, this stuff brown gravy because I don't know how many beef stock bouillon stuff. Got these little potatoes. Let's see if they fit. And honestly I'm just gonna throw them right in top. Doo -doo -doo. Just a little bag of potatoes. And they all look pretty good so <laughs> they just fit right on top. 
I'm going to do a little bit of SPG on top. The Thanksgiving chicken broth. Put a couple of cups in there. Probably doesn't even need two cups because that roast is probably going to put out a lot of juice. I'm like, I want to be able to see the liquid. <laughs> well, I can't, but that's okay. Oven's ready. Since it's late, I'm going to go 350 and hope and pray that that will be done in three hours' time. Okay, a warm. All right, we'll come back when that's done. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Uh, all right. All right, it has been about two and a half hours since we put this in. So I think I'm ready to take it out. I can smell it. it. Smells amazing. And because the pot is so heavy, we're using the big, thick black gloves. Wish me luck because it's super heavy. Let that air out a second. Mm, it smells absolutely amazing though. I'm really excited for this. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. Oh. I mean, honestly, it's been cooking for two and a half hours. It's probably done, right? Oh. Let's try to get to the meat portion. Oh, feels tender. I can push into it with, with this guy. I like it to be a little more fork tender, but I think check this out. All right, this is what it looks like. So right here, this is pretty, it's pretty tender. Look, at it. it's kind of coming apart pretty good. Just kind of poke in there with that. What do you think? I could let it go a little longer, but I'll, I'd probably leave it in there about another half an hour. Let's get a opinion. Hey. Hey. What do you think? What? Pretty fork tender, but it's not fall apart tender. What do you think? Looks good. So you want me to pull it out or should I let it go like another half hour? You can give it another half hour. Okay. Well, let's do that. All right, friends, dinner is ready. It went three hours in the oven and that is the weekend. Stopped to put laundry away. Probably not gonna do it till I don't know, Wednesday or Thursday or until it's time to do laundry again. I really don't know. <laughs> uh, here's plate. We're going to have dinner. And thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. And I love you so much. Bye. What, were you waving? What were you doing? <laughs> what was he doing? What was he doing? I don't even know what the gesture meant. Are you lying to me? No, I actually don't know you did this. <laughs> oh, was he crying like tears? Yes. Are you pointing at me through the coffee maker? Yeah. Alright. Okay, dinner's ready. Oh, let's try the rutabaga real quick. Where's the rutabaga at? Is this it? Hot, but... Mmm. It's kind of sweet. Did you just say hot? Like a carrot. Ooh, and the turnips are, of course, super bomb. Alright, gonna go eat back.